Alright guys, welcome back to another video. The joys of having an 8am start and not having to leave your own home in order to access that learning because it's online is a big deal and it's a big thing. That means you can roll out of bed five minutes before, grab yourself a cup of tea, grab yourself a cup of coffee and uh, roll up to the lesson prepared and fresh and ready to go, you know what I mean? So I just had the first of two online classes today, the first of which was two hours long and the second of which is a Latvian language class in a few hours. So. Uh, I've got an essay to do and I've got some assignments to do in between then I'm then I'm then I'm then, 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 then. I'm then gonna start my new routine at the gym uh, the past month or so it's been like all over the place I've been like not even a past month the past six weeks ever since the summer holidays I just wanted to enjoy life um, and now as of yesterday I've started like tracking everything that's food workout weight everything and uh, I really want to you know make some progress in the next six weeks pandemic permitting obviously. Did I just say six weeks? I meant six months. But anyway, before I get on with that essay, I wanna to talk to you about something a little bit important and that is a question that I've been getting quite a lot, is that when you move to Latvia, are you expected to learn the language fluently? Is it a requirement? Is it mandatory as a student here to know Latvian language? It depends on two things. A, you're, what are you doing here? Are you studying here? Are you working here? It depends on your course. And B, uh, it depends on yourself. Do you want to learn the language? Presuming you have come from abroad, then I would like to believe that Latvian isn't your mother tongue and therefore uh, you're most likely going to be studying in English. And that means most of your degree will certainly be taught in English, if not fully. So let's take what I do as an example. I'm a medical student. I'm in my fifth year. My name's Dylan. It's nice to meet you. Um, for me, the answer was yes, I had to learn Latvian language. For the first year and a half, so that's the first three semesters, uh, we were given Latvian language classes about two to three times a week, where it was obviously compulsory to attend, just like any other class. Um, and you were taught kind of basic phrases in uh, you know, both everyday life and in medical terminology. Once you complete those first three semesters, depending on how much effort you put into them, obviously in those language classes, um, you, you, you've got like a basic understanding of grammar, uh, phrases, and uh, you, know, you can make basic small talk or basic conversation. So why was learning the Latvian language, the Latvia Shulva Lorda, I'm not very good, um, uh, to a certain degree useful, A, because it helps in everyday life, you know, you go to the supermarket, you go to, uh, you know, places to eat, places to whatever, you can, you know, you, make, you can understand what's going on, you can read things, and two, the most important thing for me personally is, uh, you know, patient experience and stuff like that, not all patients uh, know English, not all patients should be expected to know English, I beg your pardon, um, and you've got to make the effort to communicate with them in their uh, home language and that's exactly how it should be and practicing and practicing and practicing your left for your language uh, in class and then going and applying it in uh, on the wards or in patient rooms it's a different feeling you know you can do it in English whatever but it's a challenge to do it in another language and it's it's fun not everyone agrees with me some people are like oh I hate learning Latvian language, it's, it's boring, it's this, it's that, but I think it's fun, right? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting challenge. Additionally, it can help to when you're reading through, you know, patient files, obviously that's confidential material, you can kind of make out what they're saying, although doctor's handwriting is very terrible, very terrible is terrible. You can kind of make out the terms, especially if they're printed up, it's interesting to read the diagnoses in Latvian. Um, and then you can obviously translate it back into English and stuff like that, that's no problem at all. So also RSU specifically, you can pick uh, the Latvian language course is a B course and that means as an elective course after you finish those first three semesters. Why I chose to do that uh, actively was, you know, it, you've, learned, you've learned the Latvian language well, quite intensively uh, in the first, you know, bit and it keeps it ticking over and it keeps it fresh in your mind um, and so you don't forget it because it'll be a waste, right, for it to all go, uh, you know, down the drain and stuff. So I've spoken about me for way too long, but what if you are on a course that requires, uh, doesn't require you to learn it to some degree or another? Maybe you could consider the question, do I want to learn it? What benefits would it give me? My advice to you is yes, be an active learner. Go outside, go to supermarkets, look look at what how you say apple, you know, in the name tag. Look at how you say a banana. 
uh, look at how you say whatever, you know, go to the cinema. Uh, how do I order a ticket? How do I order, you know, how do I buy a bus ticket in Latvia? And what's the phrase? Um, and you'll be surprised as to, you know, how, how quickly you can pick things up and how useful uh, they can be. Most people, especially uh, in the center of Riga and the old town, most young professionals, they do speak English fluently and a lot better than uh, than I do and <laughs> more often than not in the retail sector in the marketing sector like literally everyone speaks English so um, there's no pressure to learn it don't get me wrong no no get me wrong no, get, get me, me wrong, wrong get, get me, me wrong. wrong there's no pressure to learn the Latvian language at all because you won't be lost um, everything's you know very everyone's very friendly here most of the elderly population don't speak English um, they speak you know Latvian and Russian uh, Russian's a whole different kettle of fish I don't know how accurate the statistic is but I believe 50% of the population of Riga, that's the capital city of Latvia, uh, speak Russian and not Latvian. So that's, uh, that can be difficult at times because I know I only know a few words in Russian, they're not the best words, but um, I, I wouldn't get my Russian out anytime soon. So to be honest, some of the Latvian friends that I know already are just are like, oh, like why did you you know, why were you taught Latvian for so long? You should have just learned Russian, like most people speak Russian. So in conclusion, you can learn Latvian if you want to. You can learn Russian if you want to. Uh, you probably know English, but um, you can definitely find your way around places. Don't worry. I am a terrible explainer. Five hours later. So one thing I forgot to mention in my terrible explanation was that if you are looking for somewhere to practice your Latvian, your Russian, or any other common European language, you can definitely do so privately. I know there are a few places in Riga that do that. Just give it a Google and you can definitely find a tutor of some sort or some sort of a class. I've seen this recently on Facebook actually, I've never really used it, but it's a page called Riga Language Exchange or something like that. Um, just give it a search up and what it's about is if you know a language, so say for example you're from Azerbaijan and you speak their language, I think it's Russian or, oh so sorry if it's not, it's Azerbaijani maybe? I don't know, sorry. Um, you can teach them that language, you can teach someone that language and then in return they can teach you their native language. So for example if you met a native Latvian, uh, they could teach you Latvian in return or if you're from whatever country it works vice versa so that's also an option um, you can give a go okay guys I sincerely hope that video was helpful in some way shape or form I really do hope you enjoyed the video if you did it'd be sick if you could drop it a like comment down below I'd love to hear from you subscribe if you are new and you would like to see more and I will see you next time no I won't I'll see you for the bloopers I'll see you for the bloopers but what if you're not on a course that requires you mandatory Mandatorily? Mandatorily? What if you're not on a course that requires you to... St so this all boils down to the first part of uh, pop. So this all boils down to the how much... Do you want... The sun's getting to me. The sun is getting to me. I'm by no means an expert in Latvia language. I'm shining on me. I'm by no means fluent at all. I went off on a tangent, that's why. Yeah.